Are you having a Smurfy day? Well, I'm Cassandra Xiao and I'm reporting for Kids Pick Flicks. I'm having a Smurftastic day here on the blue carpet of the premiere Smurfs 2. Let's see what the celebrities have to say about the Smurfs. Uh, I, I'm again Patrick Winslow. Uh, our, we were an expecting uh, couple and now I'm, uh, we have a three-year-old son and uh, stressed about this stepfather, played by Brendan Gleeson, Victor's his character's name, uh, kind of annoying, has to realize that he's actually his family and what family means to him. And we're taken by the Smurfs and we rush to Paris and try and save Gargamel and hence get rid of, no, save Smurfette from Gargamel and save the world. We're saving the world. Well, I don't consider this a kid's movie, really. I think this kind of is, is appropriate for all ages. It's good for little kids. It's good for the parents that are with them. It's good for like couples that go, the technology with the 3D is amazing. So if I can do a movie that covers a lot of different demographics in one, in one shot, I will do that every time. All the Smurfs have names that reflect their personality, like clumsy, vanity, grouchy. What would your Smurf name be? Bubbly. bubbly. What makes you so bubbly? I have no idea. Um, I don't know. I, I think it would probably be more like Optimus Smurf. I try and keep happy. I try and keep. I, I like bubbly. I'm like bubbly. Bubbly, optimistic Smurf. I don't know. That's kind of like a long name. There's no like easy name for that. I like bubbly. You know, you can never say bubbly in an angry way. Try it. Right. Bubbly. <laughs> it doesn't work. Um, I hate to admit it, but uh, I'd probably be a like laid back Smurf dude. <laughs> that's, that's too long of a name. You got a shirt. <laughs> uh, laid back Smurf. Okay, and the theme song um, of this movie is I'm Too Smurfy. What are you too smurfy for? I'm too smurfy for my... Tie. I'm too smurfy for my tie. He's too smurfy for a tie. Where's your tie? I got no tie, I got Papa. I love Papa. <laughs> Smurfette, she gets into some mischief when she starts hanging out with the naughties. So what type of trouble would you be causing if you hang out with the naughties? Just pranks. I would prank people, yeah. Pranks like what? Have you ever pulled a prank before? Uh, not lately. When I was younger, I did pull a lot of pranks. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like the shaving cream when people are oh, sleeping with the feather. Yeah. You actually did that? Yeah, I did. the guts to do that? A couple times. Wow. Mm -hmm. Were they mad at you? They weren't. They just knew it was old. <laughs> yeah. Cool. How do you come up with what type of music you put into the movie? Um, I think for a movie like this, Murphs, you really let the the characters tell you what it is. You know, for example, if you see clumsy, how can you not write some clumsy, clumsy music, right? But then when Papa speaks, uh, you know that there is a lot of wisdom there, right? So then the music becomes a little more heartfelt, more serious. Then there is Gargamel, is Gargamel, it's crazy. So, and because it's crazy, then you can find crazy sounds out there in nature, in scrapyards, and you know all sorts of things. But then all of them then get all mixed in the orchestra, and that's when you can also have even more fun, you know, and that's that's how I see this Murph's music, you know, it's just mixing this whole thing, working with the songs, sometimes getting out of it, getting into a song, and just making the whole thing be one big song. I know that when animators are like making a movie, you guys often goof off, like when you're uh, making the movie, so do you guys ever ha uh, have Smurf parties or? Actually, our company did uh, the Gargamel makeup. So we put uh, Hank Azaria in, into the uh, prosthetic makeups every day to transform him into Gargamel. So you can imagine how much fun we have once Hank's in makeup and bouncing off the walls as Gargamel. So about the animation of this movie, I was just wondering, you know, the naughties, they have a different color skin, almost like humans. Is that a coincidence? Uh, no, I think it's because they want to uh, be more Smurf-like, and they're they're different. So it's something that uh, Smurfette can kind of uh, attract to because she's at a place in the story where she's not sure where she wants to be. So it actually works perfectly for the story. Can I interview you? Can you sign it? Thank oh. you. Thank you so much. Katie, can you tell us a little about your character? Smurfette, the only female Smurf in the village. Thank you! That was a certainly Smurfy day. I'm so excited for Smurfs 2 to come out in theaters July 31st. This is Cassandra Shaw reporting for Kids Pick Flicks.